I'm here with a different video and today we have a Lenovo laptop. This one is a Lenovo Yoga 500 and it has an iCore 3 processor. This is a client brought it in because there's a dead hard drive in here and we're going to remove the dead hard drive, the mechanical one, and we're going to replace it with a solid state drive. You can place any solid state drive you want up to 2, 3, 4 terabytes solid state. I'll leave the link in the description. and. So let's keep this short and let's get it started. To get inside the laptop, you need to flip over the laptop. And what we're gonna do down here, we're gonna remove all the screws visible on the bottom cover. There should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws in total. What we do, we need a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set, and we're gonna be using bit number zero, Phillips number zero. You should get it. I really highly recommend this screwdriver set. It will last you a very long time. All right. Now let's go ahead and remove all the screws. They're all the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. And replacing your mechanical drive with an SSD drive is really highly recommended because of the performance boost and the boot up time and every other application that you try to open it will be much faster than regular mechanical drive that you would have. All right, now that we removed all the screws at the bottom cover, we need to get our opening tool. I'm gonna be using a guitar pick. This is a metallic guitar pick, has a really soft edges and really nice and handy to open stuff with. So what do you wanna do? We wanna open up the laptop a little bit and we're going to stick the guitar pick about one or two millimeters between the top and the bottom cover just like that okay now what we want to do we want to just twist it a little bit go around twisting it and you will hear some clicks that's what you want to hear okay just go do all around it do the sides you see i'm not sticking it too much inward i'm just sticking just the about two millimeter inward I forgot on a screw here. So, and then now once you do the side, do the other side slowly, gently. Okay, I'm not left-handed, but I'm gonna try it. Do the corners, and at the back, you want to do this the back side too, right by the hinges right here. You want to get this one loosened up too, uh, right where the exit the air exit is, right there, and you should get it down. Once you got in this position, you want to just lift it up and wiggle it around, and it will come out. And look at this, there's a loosened screw down here, and it's really dirty. You need to clean up the whole thing, and I'm going to try to figure out where this screw came off. I'm guessing it came up from here. So let's see if the base is still okay. Yep. It just was a you might want to redo the screws in here but they're really loosen up. So you tighten up the screws for the hinges. Now you can see this one is really dirty. So you might want to go ahead and clean up the whole bottom cover, clean up the air intake, the air comes from this side out and goes out from the other side. So, and look at this one. Look at how dirty is this thing. I'm gonna make a video how to repaste and how to clean it up. I'll leave the link in the description or you check in my channel. All right, but now we're gonna focus right in here. This is your mechanical hard drive. To replace it, uh, what you need to do, you need to remove three screws. One is right here at the back and one right on the side and one is right on this warranty label so remove the label or just stick the screwdriver right to it once you got those removed all you need to do is to pull the hard drive back towards the front end of the laptop and then you can just lift it up i guess yeah and you can lift it up there's this aluminium sheet right on top is pretty much useless you don't need it 
So you can either leave it there or just lift it up. What you're gonna do here, we need to remove the caddy that holds the hard drive in place. So we need to remove one, two, three, four screws. And you can see these screws are pretty loose. Everything is coming apart and this laptop, I guess. So remove the four screws. Uh, remove this one. All right, once we remove the four screws, now we can simply remove the hard drive apart from the caddy. Okay, now you're gonna get your new SSD drive or mechanical drive, doesn't matter. I recommend SSD drive. And you wanna put it in the same position that you remove the other one, because you want the SATA connectors right here, match the connector down here. Otherwise, if you try to put it the other way around, First thing, the screw holes will not match and it will not slide into the connector. Always put it in the same position and place the four screws that you removed of these ones. All right, because I'm not putting this SSD drive particularly in this one. I'm gonna put back the mechanical drive. I'm gonna be waiting for the SSD drive to arrive tomorrow, I guess. But yeah. So once you imagine you got the new mechanical or new SSD in here, Place the four screws. You do not need to remove the battery at all to do this process. People are like, I oh, know you should disconnect the battery, this and that. No, it's not absolutely not necessary to remove the battery to upgrade RAM or your hard drive. Okay. Now you want to put it in offset position right here, down here. First, put this side down. You're trying to slide it inward from the back while you're pushing it and then make sure the screw holes match. Keep it in there and put the back screw first. And then put the side screws. Now once you did this one, uh, once you turn it on, you will not have any operating system in here. And I'll leave the link in the description where you, how you can get your with a USB thumb drive. You can with an 8 gig USB thumb drive, you can download directly from Microsoft website the ISO image of the Windows and put it up directly from there. Okay. And if you have disconnected the battery, if you want to be really cautious, you can just by unhooking this jack just by pulling this cable backward and the jack will disconnect the battery. Then you can replace your hard drive if you feel like they need that you need to remove the battery but it's absolutely not necessary all right once you have the new hard drive in and if you have disconnected the battery connect plug it back in clean up the whole laptop put the top cover bring it over bring it down here and put it down you want to press on the corners make sure you hear those clicks okay and Next and the last thing would be to put putting on the bottom screws and I really hope this video helped you guys to do your own service or upgrade your own hard drive for this laptop. If it did, click that thumbs up button, I'll really appreciate it. And also if you guys can subscribe, it would be a really great help. Uh, motivates me to make more videos and take requests from you guys or answer any questions. And again, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm just going to finish up putting all the screws. Alright, and that's it.